Today, Governor Tate Reeves and State Health Officer Dr. Thomas Jobs talked about how the Corinth School District is handling the coronavirus situation currently facing that district. WTVA's Bronson Woodruff shares that message. During today's press conference, Governor Reeves and State Health Officer Dr. Thomas Dobbs talked about the rising number of positive coronavirus cases in the Corinth School District. Dr. Dobbs said those diagnosed caught the virus somewhere else. Right now it's kind of interesting because we're so early in it, it's really just kids bringing it in. There's really no chance that they caught it there. Dobbs said schools have a guideline to determine if closing is necessary. If there have uh, three or more kids within a certain classroom or a certain group, then all of them need to just be quarantined. If we have three or more simultaneous groups of that nature, then that's a time to consider letting the school have a two-week break. Dobbs added if school administrators and state leaders decide a school should close, they should be closed for two weeks. Governor Reeves applauded the Corinth School District for its response to the positive cases. He added that while a lot of students are in quarantine, a lot of students are in class as well. They're learning. There are a whole bunch of kids, maybe there, maybe in other places, that maybe wouldn't have had a healthy lunch had they not gone to school today. When it comes to schools closing, Reeves said state leaders and school districts will have conversations about possibly closing. He added if the state decides a school needs to shut down, he will be prepared to make that call if necessary. I'm going to do what I believe is the right thing to do for the people of this state. According to its latest social media post, Corinth School District has seven positive coronavirus cases in total. The school said in the post it's continuing to follow its contact tracing procedures and said all who are notified need to quarantine for two weeks. I'm Bronson Woodruff for WTVA 9 News.